What's up guys, Moritz from Section Store here. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can use that section for your Shopify store, where you can simply showcase maybe your la latest Instagram feed or whatever you prefer actually. You can simply just use it as an image gallery as well. Um, what's special about this is that it's fully customizable. You can also add links to those pictures and a little extra features, but I'm going to come back to that in a second. First of all, I'm going to be showing you how to install that whole thing. So first of all, we're going to be heading on over to the Shopify app store, which you can simply find here in the Shopify app store. We're going to be looking for the section store. That's how our app is actually called. Um, there we got it easy um i have it installed already but uh in your case it's also super easy you just have to click on the app install button and we can continue with opening up your shopify admin area which is that one um to actually find the app and access it we simply click on settings scroll down to apps and sales channels click on section store and open up the app easy as that and to find the specific section i just showed you you simply click on the little sections tab here in the nav bar and there we have it already actually the first one um, for this tutorial we're going to be using a free one but uh, we have some different pricing models for section store we also have premium sections which are usually a bit more complex but um, have a lot of customization options but um, yeah, we're just going to have a look at that one for now. Let's click on it. I already own this section. Um, for your like uh, case, uh, there's going to be a button, which um, you're just going to click and download it. And we're going to head back to the home area of the Section Store app. And there you can already see it in your case after you've downloaded it. We're going to add it to our theme, our live theme. In my case, it's the Dawn live theme. Once that is done, you can simply click on the theme editor. And after that opened up, I'm going to be showing you how you can customize your section you've just installed from the section store app. Alrighty, loading up. Perfect. There we already have it. That's the one you've just seen at the beginning of the video. But uh, for this example, I'm just going to be adding a new one uh, to properly explain you all the customization options, how you can add pictures, and a few other things. Alrighty, let's get started. Um, we're going to look at add sections down here. Type in SS, section store, and look for the image gallery. And there we already have it. It opens up here. Um, we have one main area here with six gallery photos, which you can see here on the side. I'm going to be explaining you the main area here, which consists out of that headline, that little handle here, and the main image already. Let's click on it. We're going to be seeing the headline here, which I can easily just change. Sample headline for this example. Also, we can simply just change the size of the headline with this little regulator here. And then um, whatever you prefer, you can just add your Instagram handle here or whatever platform you want the people to click on, actually. Um, we're also just going to be writing example up in here. And uh, to this little handle here, you can also add a link. In our case, we're just going to be using an example Instagram link. Click on top here, and now we already have it linked up. Also, we can uh, add the gallery image here. We're going to be using that one. You can just upload images to the library here, use free images or whatever you prefer. For our example, we're going to be using that one. You can also add a specific external link to this image here, same as the handle here. So also here, we're just going to be using the Instagram link. And um, what is also customizable is the background color of the whole section here. That's the next little step. You can just simply click on here, set the background color. But um, I prefer white for this example, actually. So the contrast is good on that. Um, what can also be changed uh, is the font, which is used here, actually. You can simply click on here, look for every other font, also fonts you maybe have installed, custom fonts, the fonts you're using already for your Shopify store. But uh, we're just going to stick to the um, regular one, which is used here already. 
Alrighty, that section here is done. Now we can continue with those little blocks here, the gallery photos, the customization options on those one are a little, little bit more thin than in that section here, because on those ones, you can simply just select an image and also add an external link to them. Um, I'm going to skip forward to the top section I've already showed you at the beginning of the video. So we have that here. Um, just so you don't have to see me like putting in all the photos. So just going to have a look at it. The links are added here. Perfect. Background color is set. We're going to save it all up and have a look at it at the live version. So you can also see what the links are doing and how it's going to look on different devices. Alrighty, there we have it, the one you've seen already. And if we actually click on it, we get directed to Instagram. It's going to access our link we put in there. That's perfect. Also, we have our little example handle there, which is also connected to a link. And the last little thing I'm going to be showing you is how it's going to look in different devices. So we have iPad here, and then it's shrinking down all the way to mobile. We have a little two by two grid here, but yeah, that's it. That was basically it already. I hope you found this useful and uh, peace out. Thank you.